All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so it's time for another five minute Friday. So uh, let's put the uh, let's put the time on the clock right now, and let's just see it. Let's, let's just see me blow by it and uh, and uh, keep talking past five minutes. I'll try not to, but anyway, let's go. All right, guys. So uh, another week in the bag, and this is a special week for me because this is actually my last week. Uh, in Genoa for now. I'm going home on leave um, on uh, this weekend. So I'm very excited about that. Um, so I'm, if, I'm, if I'm smiling like a moron in this video, it's because I'm excited about going home. A um, few things I wanted to talk about. Uh, yes, last night I put out a video about Moat Yacht Go, 77 meter from Turquoise Yachts. I uh, had a bit of an accident in, in St. Martin. And anybody who's familiar with the area or any yachties out there will know that this area is particularly uh, dangerous when it comes to super yachts, it would seem. Uh, a little while ago, um, another boat, uh, Motia Ecstasy, had a bit of a, a run in with a bridge there. And the bridge came off pretty badly, but um, I think the bridge won overall. Well, this is in the same place. Where that, where that is. And they actually made it through the bridge without any issue. And then, uh, and then they had this issue where they ended up crashing into the pier. Now, in the comments section of that video, there were a lot of comments blaming people, blaming the captain, the captain should be fired, it's, it's the captain's responsibility and all this stuff. But the thing is, we don't know what happened yet. Um, I saw an article, uh, somebody posted very kindly, uh, a, a local, probably a local of St. Martin posted a, a newspaper article that said that a computer malfunction caused this issue. Um, it's a bit vague because there's no real, I mean, there's lots of different computers controlling lots of different parts of the vessel and, um, and there are ways to get around these malfunctions, but um, we'll have to wait for the official report to come out, I would say. But um, until we know what happened, you can't blame the captain. I mean, yes, it's the captain's responsibility for the vessel, but we don't know what happened. Um, it's, it is, a, it is a, an interesting area for super yachts. But um, yeah, until we know what officially happened, we don't know uh, who's to blame or if anyone's to blame for that matter. Uh, a, a failure of, uh, of, of systems on, on the boat will, will make it very difficult to, to, uh, to move the vessel in the direction you want it to. Uh, the only, you know, they could have dropped some anchors, but you don't know how long they were out of control before uh, this happened. Um, the, one, there was a, a track posted from uh, Marine Traffic or, or one of those types of websites, I'll put it up on the screen, that shows the, the track of this vessel in the in the the time in the period before this accident actually happened, and you can see that that is not a normal track. So there was something going on with this boat, and it would it would appear to me that they they were possibly trying to remedy it and by moving around like this, trying to get things working, testing and stuff like that. But yeah, like I said, when the final report comes out, we'll know what the accident happened. Well, I, I assume there will be a, a, a report because it because it actually crashed into a pier. But uh, yeah, let, don't rush to judgment, you know, because we don't know what happened yet. All right, so uh, yeah, so uh, next thing is, uh, like I said, I'm going home at the weekend. Um, so uh, be sure to uh, tune into my other channel, eTechman. I'll put the name up on the screen here, and I'll put a link below so you, you can get access to it. What I'm going to do is, uh, I took all your questions in a video uh, earlier this week, and I was, uh, the response was excellent. I've got a ton of questions. I'll try to get through as many as I can. I don't know how good I'm gonna be at that. I don't want the, video, the, the Q and A video to be, you know, 50 minutes long, um, but I'll go through as many as I can. And uh, yeah, we'll have a good time, but I'm gonna post it on the other channel because it's, it's gonna be part of my road trip on the way home. I'm gonna post some other videos as part of that road trip. Also, what it's like, one of the videos is gonna be what it's like traveling in, in COVID because the amount of forms I've had to fill out because I've got to travel through Italy, uh, through France, 
and then I've got to travel across the, the Channel Tunnel and then into the UK. And each country has its own requirements, so that's quite interesting. Uh, also, the fact that I'm going home does not mean there's going to be any less videos on the channel. In fact, I'm going to try and um, produce more videos because I'm going to be at home, uh, so I'm going to have more time to actually make videos. And I'm actually working on another um, Super Yacht Investigations uh, I'm not going to say too much about that, but I am working on another one. Uh, it's very difficult to do. There's an awful lot of reading and, you know, uh, going through reports and stuff like that and working things out. Um, and I started it while I was here on board, but I just realized very quickly that uh, it's too much work to do whilst I'm doing all my other jobs and stuff like that. So I'm going to work on that when I get home. One bit of good news I did see is that, as, at least as for now, the Monaco Yacht Show has been confirmed. Um, but as you can see by the, the Dubai uh, Yacht Show, which was due to go ahead in March, they confirmed it and then they cancelled it. So, uh, but the, the Monaco Yacht Show is due to happen, and I think it will because of the timing of it, because it's at the end of September. So I'm, I'm excited to go to that. Um, I should be able to attend. I think, I think I'll be okay to attend this year. The last one I did, I did put out videos, but I wasn't able to go for very long. I only went for one day. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to go for the whole event. I'll assume that they give me another press pass. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about the Monaco Yacht Show. So uh, yeah, so tune in for that. Like I said, the Dubai show got cancelled, but well, you know, it was due to be in March. So it was a bit too soon. All right, guys, I'm going to end it there. Um, I, if you've got any questions, um, if you've got any road trip questions, last minute ones, put them below here. I'm going to check, put hashtag road trip question. Yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. And the next time we talk on this channel, I think I'll be back in the UK. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you soon.